when new users will open the worksheet for the first time uh, they will get this uh, macro prompt most probably only Mac users will get this prompt Windows users may not get this prompt so if you are getting this prompt just click on the enable macro button so after clicking the enable macro button the second thing that uh, a new user will do is uh, they must enter their registered email id in this uh, window you can see this welcome window in this welcome window the new users must enter their registered email id uh, this email id um, uh, will be required only for the first time until the subscription lasts it will not ask you to uh, authenticate your email id again this email id uh, is required to authenticate the subscription so uh, make sure to enter the same email id that you have uh, entered while purchasing the stock analysis worksheet so enter the email id and after you have entered the email id just click on this activate button as soon as you will click the activate button a new prompt will come and it will tell you the worksheet will close after you click ok so after you have entered the email id and click the activate button the worksheet will get closed click the ok button and you see the worksheet has been closed so now you have to reopen the worksheet so open the worksheet again if you get this prompt click on the enable macro and the worksheet is just authenticating your subscription and if it has found your subscription to be valid it will unlock the worksheet for usage so click the ok button and you are ready to use the worksheet so before we go into uh, uh, knowing how to use this worksheet uh, let me uh, remind you that for those excel sheets whose macro is not working whose macro program is not working for such worksheets uh, for such uh, devices uh, will not be able to use this worksheet so please make sure that your macro is working and if your macro is not working i am sorry i will not be able to help you uh, about your macro from my end so uh, you will have to take care of the macro from your end only remotely i will not be able to do anything for the macro of your device for your excel program so contact somebody uh, who can help you with the macro and if you if you are not able to uh, solve the uh, macro problem so uh, i'm sorry i will not be able to help you for that macro so once the subscription has been authenticated the next step is to start using the worksheet so how to use the worksheet it is a three-step process first of all pick your stock fetch the data for the stock that you have picked and then observe the reports so <coughs> where you can pick the stock the stock picking is done on this sheet find your stock sheet go to the find your stock sheet and click anywhere in the blank page a new pop-up window should open I don't know why this uh, the new uh, window is not opening if it is happening like that go to some other sheet wait for a moment and you can see this select stocks window will come so once this select stock window comes you can now search for your particular stock suppose you want to search a, a stock called hindustan copper so type an incomplete name you need not type the full name and click the find button click find so it has searched the first name it has got is hindustan unilever so this is not our stock so we will click this arrow then it will take us to tech mahindra this is not our stock has taken us to hindustan zinc this is also not our stock hindalco 
not our stock hindustan petroleum is not also not our stock hindustan aeronautics not our stock so i i have maybe typed two few uh, letters i will search again again it is searching hindustan hindustan zinc hindustan petroleum hindustan aeronautics hindustan copper so this is our stock hindustan copper so as soon as uh, your name appears click on the name and click this analyze button after you have clicked the analyze button the worksheet will start downloading data from our database a uh, large amount of data needs to be downloaded so it will take about 10 15 seconds to download the data so give your worksheet the time it might take some more time depending on the speed of the internet generally uh, if you are using this worksheet uh, with a broadband connection uh, it will be able to download in 5 seconds so after it has downloaded the data you will get this prompt saying that the data refreshed successfully so we have we were searching for hindustan copper it has downloaded the data for that stock so click the okay button if this window irritates you just close it for few times it will close down and then you can scroll down and you can see just check whether the price data has been downloaded or not how to check the price data you can see the last 14 day price trend it is showing as a flat line it means that the all the data has been downloaded but the price data has not been downloaded so in this case what you will have to do go back to find your stock sheet search for hindustan copper again this time i will write almost the full name i will click on the name and click the analyze button after i click the analyze button it will start downloading the data and now you can see the second time click okay the second time the price data has been downloaded and now it is plotting the charts so this is the first step so what we have done we have picked the stock hindustan copper we have fetched the data for hindustan copper and now the third step is to observe the reports so where are the reports the reports are here in the cover sheet you see this is the first report where you can see the overall score the the intrinsic value you can also see the peer analysis of hindustan copper and here you will see the sales income operating profit trends of the last 5 years and you can see the price trend the 14 day price trend 30 day 90 day 180 day up to 10 years you can see all this price trend wherever the price has fallen you will see as a red in negative the number and if the price is rising you will see a green uh, with a annualized growth rate numbers so this is the first report the second report is the ratios report where you can see uh, the stocks liquidity ratio solvency ratio operating efficiency ratios profitability ratios and the price valuation ratios so all these ratios are uh, indicated for all the last 10 years yeah, now in the snapshot report you will see the 10 last 10 quarters report arranged here you can also see the profit and loss account last 10 years profit and loss account for the company you can also see the balance sheet report you can also see the cash flow statement so this is one of my favorite reports because uh, just by looking at the glance you can see here for hindustan copper its sales figures in march 2012 was 1400 crores and now uh, in the trailing 12 month uh, figures is 1600 crores so you can see the sales has not grown much for this company in the last 10 years so this kind of trend analysis becomes very easy when you see this snapshot report and finally a new um, a report has been added in this worksheet in version 4.0 this is this uh, stock list report a lot of users wanted to have this kind of report uh, in their worksheet 
uh, now this worksheet now this version 4.0 can prepare the list of stocks at present this worksheet can uh, uh, analyze 850 stocks so you will have all those 850 stocks here listed so and against each stock you will have four informations available the market cap the price the current price the intrinsic value and their overall score so uh, for some users it uh, they may not be able to uh, do the filtering of these stocks so what you can do you can just select these stocks and paste it in some other sheet and do the uh, filtering there so if people who want to filter and sort this data they can select this uh, data and copy it somewhere else otherwise uh, it is a very useful information at a glance you can see and compare the stocks that you want to analyze now this uh, uh, information here is not a static information every day the market cap and price of the stocks change intrinsic value and overall score may not change uh, in a short period but these two values are very dynamic so how to have the updated values in your worksheet so for that you will have to go back to find your stock sheet and here you have to refresh press this refresh list button as soon as you will uh, click the refresh list button the whole stock list will get refreshed two things will happen as soon as the stock gets refreshed you will get this prompt click the ok button so two things will happen after you click the refresh list button first of all in case some new stock has been added in the list then it will appear here at present it is showing 848 number stocks if i add some uh, let's say two stocks in the list then after you click the refresh list button this number will become 850 if i add two new stocks so this is number one second is this this list will also get updated the screener list will also get updated you will have the updated market cap for your stocks and you will also have the updated price in case you find that this list is not updating then go back to find your stock sheet and click the click the refresh list button once more that's all do not worry it will fetch the updated data so so that's all my friend this is all you have to do to you know, use this worksheet pick your stock fetch the data from our database and observe the reports